A brand new Xbox console available for pre-orders in April of 2019? Stay tuned throughout the video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you some news updates when it comes to the Xbox here as we have a lot of news recently happening about the Xbox Lockhart and Anaconda but there was this other Xbox codename called Xbox Maverick was going to be potentially available for pre-orders in 2019 of April. If you guys enjoyed these news information vid videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this Xbox. Are you going to be able to buy it? Do you think so? Or are you going to wait until possibly the new gen comes around? If you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Xbox related or Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes can be kind of weird at times. Let's get right into the video. So recently on the website Windows Central, they do a lot of Microsoft focused information on their website, a lot of news and stuff like that. They recently broke a little bit of an extra news on top of what Thurot from Brad Sam's mentioned back in November of 2018 about this new Xbox potentially with no disk drive or anything like that. Well, it actually seems to be a little bit more true as uh, Windows Central has just recently mentioned how they have their own sources have kind of landed towards a potential release date and name for this brand new console. Microsoft is reportedly set to call the diskless Maverick console the Xbox One S All Digital Edition. That's a mouthful. Right when you thought Microsoft could not throw enough X's, could not throw enough abbreviations, the Xbox One X, they're like, no, we need more words to describe our one console. And they topped it for sure on this one. I'm not quite sure you call this one, maybe just for shorthand, maybe just like the digital edition Xbox. Stating on the website saying that this Xbox is set for pre-orders in mid-April of 2019 with a general availability coming in early May 2019. So this is like right around the corner with this brand new Xbox, guys. Right before E3, that's kind of a crazy thing to do. Now this is the first discless Xbox One that's ever been made. It's, I think personally this might be a little bit of a foreshadowing to the future consoles and the rumors behind that, but we'll get into that later in the video here. But they're saying the reason why they want to try a discless version of the game, because one, have a slimmer profile, which is certainly nice, but also to kind of push the Xbox Game Pass a little bit, and the Project X Cloud, which is going to be Microsoft's streaming service. So definitely want to try to push that. This will definitely be one way to do it. Now, I'm assuming this would be actually lowering the cost as well, which on the Thrust website, they state that this what this console will probably release around $200. So for a brand new console, that's not too bad of a deal. Now with the disk drive removed, it does mean that there is no way to play, say like your Blu-rays or anything like that with the 4K being available on this console for streaming when it comes to watching videos. It seems that like actually that it's gonna be more detrimental to the UK or European audiences as uh, digital video offerings in 4K are not as common or can't be performed as well as a 4K Blu-ray disc. So this could be a little more detrimental to the European audiences, but I think Microsoft's always kind of favored the American audiences as a whole. I remember when the Xbox One was originally launched, they were really pushing for this NFL app, but you think anybody outside America is like, I really don't care about the NFL draft. Why are you taking 10 minutes out of your, your presentation to talk about this? But, you know, Microsoft does have a very uh, United States focused audience. And so that does make sense why they would push that a little bit. Now, personally, I do feel that this console right here is kind of supposed to kind of test the waters with an actual product in the public to see how well this performs. Because rumor has it that the Xbox uh, Scarlet family, which is potentially going to have two separate Xboxes, a low end and a high end. The low end being codename Lockhart, which I mentioned all this in a previous video. If you want to go and want to check that out, link will be at the end of this video for that. But uh, that the Lockhart is going to be a lower end Xbox that will support new generation contents, but will have no disk drive in it, be clear, purely digital. So obviously releasing the Xbox One S with no disk drive would be a good way to potentially get people into the idea of having a strictly digital download version for your console. Now for me personally, I do enjoy collecting my physical discs when it comes to my console games. Uh, just because I like collecting them, I like kind of showing them off on my wall, kind of showing like all the games I like to play because I take pride in my content that I, like, I purchase and I like to play because gaming is a very personal thing for me. And so I really enjoy having the the, uh, the physical copies, though I will say that the digital versions of these uh, games are much more convenient to use. Uh, I mean, I have 
I have Destiny 2 digitally downloaded, I have Black Ops 4 digitally downloaded, and I have, of course, Apex Legends digitally downloaded. And it's super easy just to kind of hop back and forth between the different games without having to worry about, like, where's my disc? Let me put it in. Oh, the disc didn't read this time. Let me, ugh, you know, rub it off and put it back in or something like that. It's a bit more of a hassle, yeah, but I just enjoy having the disc and the cases themselves. But uh, it kind of depends on the game as well. Like, honestly, I don't care about collecting Call of Duty boxes. So I have no problem with that. But I would definitely would prefer to have the physical copy when it comes to especially Halo games. I'm honestly surprised that they didn't try this also with the Xbox One X. Though, obviously, that would definitely raise the price, you know, compared to the initial guested 200 level uh for this Xbox One S all digital edition, <laughs> but uh, you know, since the Xbox One X is the flag cons flagship console for Microsoft, do you think they would do that for it as well? Though I'm assuming that if you're going to be buying an Xbox One X, you really don't care to try to limit your costs or your experience. So I guess I can understand that. So, what are your guys' thoughts on having a purely digital download streaming Xbox? Would you be interested in buying it? Or are you guys probably save your money for the 2020 releases of these next gen consoles? Or if you guys really want the, would you be interested with that? Or do you only download your games or do you only buy your physical copies? You know, I would like to read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well because I'd like to see what you guys have to say about this as well. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. And if you want to stay up to date with anything Xbox or Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. And if you guys are new to the channel or miss any content from me, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.